rabbits today? Uh, we're going to be feeding some of the rabbits, giving them some hay, checking on them. We've got some babies. We have some babies. And oh, we're they're all... about five, six feet. Yeah, they're doing good. They're getting too big for their cages. We'll show you the rabbits that we have this going on this year. And we'll show you the new ones we got. And uh, we're going to do some breeding and get some big, heavy rabbits. And get some small, fluffy ones too for some people. All right, we'll show you. This is one of the new rabbits we got. He's a Holland Lop. Mini. Yeah. And this is the female we bred, bred him to. She's mixed with a lion hair. Yeah. Yep, she's mixed with a lion hair. And there's her two babies. Oh. Fine. They're not the smartest things in the world. <laughs> They're so cute. What a fluffy butt. There's Mama. She's ready for some water. She got like three or four different colors on her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. <laughs> so we got the feed, water during the winter. And cups instead yeah, of they the slide out. bucket. Yeah, the buckets, the pot, the lines will freeze, they'll bust. This one has a small hole in the back and we're just playing it safe for the board. I gotta cut a smaller board. That's just New Zealand red. Come on, buddy. Bought this one at the uh, auction as well. He's still got food. <laughs> yeah, and we got some hay for him too. We're gonna hay him. We usually just, I'll show you right here. Got the hay in the wagon. Cut it free. And just pull some off, what we usually do, and then we usually stick it right in the hole. You can't see them, it's perfect. Winter time is here, guys. It'll help block him in. He'll make a little hole. It's in and out, in and out of. He'll eat it faster than and, and anything. He'll eat, it, eat it pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll eat it faster than it benefits him. <laughs> yeah. Rabbits do really good in the and cold too. This is our too. little pedigree, Carmela. She's like, what? She's now like, we're talking. yeah. <laughs> we bred her twice. No success. But she's getting older now. She, I think she's more developed, and we'll see what happens. Not the best mother, but she's pedigree. <laughs> yeah, I'd say there's probably a reason they got rid of her. Okay. And this is the bunch we're moving into the new pen later today. And this is one of the mothers we raised. Decided to keep her from the batch. And she's Thumper. And I'm pretty sure Brownie. She just came out white. Okay. We got one black one, one brown one. And two white ones. All right. Let's get a bunch and... I'm going to see if I can get anybody out of here. Look at this thing nesting over here. <laughs> <laughs> so she's trying to build a nest. You see how she's gathering all that in her mouth? Every little bit she can get. And then she'll put it wherever. So she's thinking about being a good mama this go-round. I actually have to check the calendar and see how far out she is. We're hoping this go round we bred her to a smaller rabbit. We'll have more success. So we're hoping that it'll be easier on her. Yeah. Okay, here's the guys. They came out a little bit better now. Then there's a little red one back there. <sighs> He's a little wild sucker. 
Mm -hmm. So I've been, I haven't been held much. But once we move you guys, you guys are going to get held more. Because you guys can't get away from us. I'm running the box. Okay. Now I can stick it in there. Everybody's seen you. This is Thumper. He's still hanging in with us. He was the first rabbit we got. I came home one day and Frankie had this little grin on his face. I'd been asking for rabbits. And he's like, I got you something. And he had me two rabbits, Thumper and another one. He's a gentle, gentle old guy. He is. Still he's breeds. pretty chill. Still a real good breeder. Mm-hmm. On to Jack. And this is Jack. He's not to the friendliest. But he's the biggest. Our biggest male. What we like about him is he's big, but he don't take long to get big. So he's a good breeder for a meat rabbit. He's done really good for us. This is another one we got out of the auction. Another male. They're going really at a good price, so we bought them and we're like, eh, we have plenty of males, but we don't got plenty of meat because we've had people buying a lot of rabbit meat off of us. So we'll grow him up a little bit more. If not, Nikki says she wants to try a younger rabbit, so we'll see. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tender. And this is the one we have these are our New Zealand Reds friendly Mr. Mr. Red you see we got the track supply set up with these wire cages yeah the tray really friendly because we can get to them really very easily I still got to set up some That work. and these two stayed in the house. <laughs> yeah, they stayed in the house. When we first got them. Last winter, pretty sure it was, near the end. What, the, the build? No, the rabbits. Yeah, last winter, yeah. Last winter. And the build, as you can see, I got it set up for another line, Another row. Another row. I had Nikki's Bandy Roosters in here, so... Gotta Got clean some, that out. Gotta clean that out. Got the concrete bottom on it. It's not thick. Three or four inches, I'm pretty sure. But, like I said, rabbits, are gonna, they're going to poop and pee, and it's all going to go down here. Got my broom, so try to clean it out. During the summertime, just sweep it into a pile and get a dustpan, throw it in the wheelbarrow. But easy cleanup. Oh, yeah, and I got some, some titanium. I did a little cheaper over here. I just got some... Bags. Bean bags. It's just to protect the building behind it because rabbits pee out of the cage. The males are bad for it. So it's just to protect the wood. We got some pee guards for this guy and pee guards for over here. So they don't get each other. Yep. Otherwise it's... they'll have some stains on them not looking too good. And this is our other male. Come on. We raised him. Okay. He came from Thumper. Thumper and Brownie. Same one as the little white female this over there. This is Crow. I like these little tractor supply setups, but... They don't last. They don't last, so I put a piece of tin on top, screwed it in, put a board on the bottom, so it helps protect it from the dirt from rotting on the bottom. As you can see, they still chew on it quite a bit. Hey, Crow. Hey, buddy. And that, he'll dig oh, out. loving. And it will dig out too as well, so it's two-way prevents, and it, he loves it. It, it paid it off himself. He breeds as well. He's a black uh, New Zealand. That top part lifts up too. Yep. I don't know if he, it's against the building. I don't know if you can show him. And the top part lifts up as well. I she can come show you inside. If we want to play with them or whatever, we just drop this heart thing and like that, and it 
Or if you have two rabbits, it works that way too. Yep. Oh, well, it would if he hadn't ate the divider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're bad to eat on their wood. But if you ever want to get a rabbit and you don't want, you just want one or so, just upgrade it like this, put a piece of tin on it, piece of plywood on bottom, and you can keep them outside. You don't have to have rabbits inside. I don't know why people put all their rabbits inside. You can just, they're made for outside. Mm -hmm. Just give them hay mm -hmm. and pellets, water them every day. Also, that the hutch itself them. is set on top of that plywood so we can move it off for easy cleaning. Yeah, I, I usually just pick it up and bring him over here. <laughs> He's going up, he knows. <laughs> he knows the drill. Yeah, and then right there and... And then just shovel it out. Yep, we'll do that later today too. Let's move him right now. This one. We got tired of moving it, so it's kind of... <laughs> They've just done what they will with it, pretty yes. much. Yes, I'm going to have to uh, shovel some of this stuff out of here. But this opens up. Which, actually, they enjoy digging in it. Yeah. They really do. There's wire on the bottom, too, so... They can't dig out. Yeah, they can't dig out. But they've dug up enough and dirt this top to... opens. <laughs> she got a haircut. Nikki gave her a trim. What was it? Two weeks ago? Something like that. Oh, come here. This is a pure lion head, so it needs to be trimmed on the face. Nick, you'll show you these guys. So this is Brownie. We've had her for, what, this is her third season, probably? Um, this is her third season. And we gotta clean out that in there. She only had two babies this time, but she's still a really good mom. She takes good care of them, so we're letting her stick around yep she raises them really good they're so cute the last one she had six babies i think six or seven she had quite a few and i moved these guys so you can see the poop pile when they build up you got to kind of push it through and this is Hina. we've had her for five or six years now yeah she's one of our five first rabbits she's a rex so she does pretty good and a little setup so i got the poop out of that corner i love these tractors yep they've got a little box to get in out of the weather and then they have a little run that they can get in eat grass or run around stand up in do whatever they want As you can see, there's rabbit pillow tracks. They get moved every day. There's another one. This is Haven. This is Hina's daughter, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <laughs> They're almost identical. I think Hina has a little bit more marking around her eyes. But other Beautiful than that, rabbits. They're almost identical. Careful, she's pregnant. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully she's pregnant. Hopefully. She's a big one. <laughs> you a big mama. Yeah. yeah, she don't want to be petted. She'll usually let me pet her. <laughs> That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> For whatever reason, they like to tend to skip all three of them. Probably because they're older. Wrong side. Oh, yeah. Probably because they're older. I need to put a piece of wood here so we... And this is Callie. She's our California rabbit. She's probably about four years old too. Three or four. <laughs> she is huge. Hold that. Let's... This is a big box. <laughs> She's a big one. Make sure it's in the... So somebody was a little grumpy and woke up from a nap alone. So we bundled him up and brought him out. They all like to do chores. But um, so we're going to show you our last three rabbits. These are females. I forgot to add that in our count. But um, we're going to do these. I really have no idea what the little brown one is. 
I'm not even for sure what the white one is, but she is the softest rabbit I have ever in my life felt. I think she's uh, Rex. I don't know what she is, but she's almost like a satin, velvety color. Yeah, she's really uh, not soft. Not color, but shade, like texture. It's in incredible how she feels. Like you just have to feel it to believe it. <clears throat> and then this one, is, what was she, what was she? Flemish. Oh, uh, she's mixed, right? Or pure? It's supposed to be pure. Anyways, she's the chinchilla color, which we like. We've had one color like that, and I couldn't get him to breed. So yeah. So we ate him. <laughs> He was actually the first one we ate. <laughs> yeah, he didn't breed well. Mm -mm. No, he didn't catch. At and all. we knew the mother was good because we bred her with other males. Yeah. But she's a monster. We're going to breed her this year and see how she does. Mm -hmm. The little one we got, because she was cute and cheap. And, and cheap. <laughs> we got these at the auction as well. Yep. I knew the guy was selling them too. It's kind of cool. Smaller. We got her stretch. <laughs> um, that's one thing. When you're building a rabbit cage, you want to be sure that they have enough enough space to stand on their hind legs. So that's one of their uh, things they like to do. Yeah. They like to sit up. Like a groundhog. You know how a groundhog just sits on the road and sits up. As, as you can tell, they they really like to stand on their hind legs. So this is actually a little bit too small for the gray one. Yeah. But we're making pins to move them into, so. And this is our brooder for our chicks as well. But we clean it up. We just yeah. got a piece of plywood on the bottom. Take it out, clean the plywood off, and put some rabbits in it. Mm -hmm. At least so we know what's going on, how they're acting, if they're sick or anything's wrong with them. But they all seem really healthy. Yeah, they do. Which I knew I, who sold them too, so I was no no doubt that I was not gonna buy them. It's, it's just it's a good price. They they were like they were a little more expensive, but the two big ones. The two big ones, but you can't beat it because look at them, they're gorgeous. And they're huge. Mm-hmm. Good meat rabbits. Yep. Being so good. Okay, I guess we're gonna hop off here and feed these rabbits and water and all the things. And clean the pens out and everything else. Well, that's what we're doing with the rabbits uh, near Christmas. Getting them set up for winter and ain't nothing like a rabbit on Christmas, right baby? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> They're so, so fluffy. <laughs> all right. And we'll, Ruby's out here. Ruby! Yeah, I just shut the gate on her make sure she's not making a run for it. Ruby! <laughs> of course she's already wan wandered off. Ruby! That if I had to guess, she's probably in the, the shed. Yep. Here we are. There's Ruby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I smack her on the butt when she has to go to bed at night. She don't... See, see if we can give Ruby some loving, baby. Before we, before we exit. Ruby. Say hi, everybody. Say we're gonna hello. Say, we're going to say bye from Ruby Homestead. Are you ready? Bye. <laughs> say bye, everybody. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> no snow. Is this rain? 
our tractor shed. Got the big one over here. We usually put stuff in. I have the little green cart here and the tractor. Feed barrels and the tillers and stuff back there. And there's Ruby. Okay. Troy's first sign off. <laughs> yep. Good? Yep. Merry Christmas. Hey, everybody. This is Troy's first Christmas. Yep. Hey, baby. Oh, not Ladybug's first Christmas. Go lay down. <laughs> Over there. Go lay down. Hey, baby. Hey. You ready for some Christmas? Are you ready for some Christmas? Here's your Christmas present. Check it out. What you think about that? <laughs> Just like Mr. Foxy. You got it, baby. You got it. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna be a minute. Nope. He's stretching. He just woke up. <laughs> but we're gonna have a good Christmas today. We're gonna go see family and friends and with the animals, their treats, their Christmas presents, and we got into ours. Hmm. You want to rip a little corn, baby? Yeah, you can just grab the corner of it. Hmm. Okay. Almost. <laughs> you hang on to it for daddy. Got it? What is that? Uh-uh, you gotta use your best hand. You ain't using your right hand. Hey, it's right here. Look. What are you looking at? Christmas lights? <laughs> yeah, Christmas lights get them dazed and confused. Okay, back on the mission. There you go. There we go. What is that? What's in there? Grab it again. What's in there? Grab it, Troy. Good job, baby. Nice. Oh, really nice. Fun. Tractor, guys. <laughs> Got a little hitch and everything. Oh, Grandpa made those. Yep. That's for his wagon. Mm -hmm. Or his animal wagon he got last year. Probably could pull those around. Oh, the little train thing. Yeah. The little caterpillar looking. We're going to keep on to that piece? <laughs> yeah. Look. Okay, give me that piece. Give me that piece back. Give me, come, help me rip it up. Here you go. Lizzie. Mama's gonna help you this one. Mama's gonna help you. You gotta look at Mama. Hey. Look at Mama got you. Hold this. There you go. Oh, you're gonna grab, grab the stuff in it this time. No, I haven't grabbed the paper. You grab the stuff. Here. Here. <laughs> sit, sit in his lap right there you go. Put it right in front of his face. Grab it. Go grab it. He said I'm going to eat it. <laughs> he's going, he's going. There you go. There you go. Pull it up. There you Good go. job. What's in there? Oh, look at you go. What's in there? I can't see. I can't see. Oh, uh, it's a trailer uh, for uh. a tractor. Looky! How nifty. <laughs> yeah! I don't know what you're going to carry in there. But we're going to carry a bottle or something, some diapers. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We got a quick, cute little <laughs> tractor and trailer. He'll enjoy that. Thank you, grandparents. Like tummy tongue nice. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's it for us from Ruby Homestead. I'm gonna go feed the critters and oh yeah, she got me some shoes. What shoes these, baby? K. Cujo. 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 Cujo shoes for Christmas. They're kind of like green and I like them. They're flat, so if you're used to the heel and the thing, they're not gonna have it. They're more of like a good shoe for you, not comfortable shoe. <laughs> in other words, for saying it. Because they got a thick sole on them, they're going to last forever. If you go on asphalt or whatever, they're going to last a long time. And I got some 
guns for Christmas, a blower, and some boots, and a bunch of ammo. So I'm going deer hunting next year. See if I can make a little bit of videos for it. Have a little bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. You're going to do that, Auntie. No, we stay home. You gotta wait a little longer. Just a little bit. Yeah. See, I'm going in both seasons. And this is Troy. Home. He's gonna sign us out. Ugh. Are you ready? I'm gonna look at the camera. Are you ready? Hey, look. Say thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, people. Merry Christmas. Bye, y'all.